So hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to talk about my best 2019 lipsticks. And so without further ado, let's get started. So I actually have three lip products and two kind of like honorable mentions. Um, and yeah, the first one is actually this one. This is the Chanel Rouge Allure Velvet Extreme in 128, which is called Rose Nocturne. This is a very, very nice, like deeper, muted, brown, rose type of color. It appears a little bit redder in the camera but in real life it looks like like on swatch on my hand it looks like this and on my lips it looks like this so on the lips you can um up to your own preference you can actually um lightly tap it to get a wash of color you can layer it up and then make it super pigmented so it's definitely up to you this type of matte is very comfortable i feel like it's not like super drying but it has a kind of body so when you put your lips together you feel quite plushed you feel like there is some kind of cushion between your lips uh, and the lip product so it felt really really nice it's not so super drying as compared to the three concept eyes matte lipsticks you will definitely know that this one is much more nourishing than the other one and this color is very special because i feel like every single time i wear it it makes me feel like i'm very put together but at the same time i have that like very cool vibe and i also have that very i don't know it looks it makes me feel like i'm very like i've got a very strong character like something mysterious about this color um and i really really like it and every single time i put it i feel like it just makes my looks much more it's not like perk me up, it's like it just makes my looks look very like, I don't know, it gives me a kind of feeling that I feel really really good about myself. And also for Chanel lipsticks, their scent is very, very nice, especially the Rouge Allure line. Yeah, I love the scent, it's like a very slight like, sweet scent, I don't know how to put it together but it's just something that I am okay with putting in, I actually love it. So highly highly recommend. This is a limited edition colour but I'm pretty sure you still can um, find them here and there but you do have to put in a little bit more effort into hunting them down of course um, but if you cannot find this colour anymore, recently I think in spring um, they're going to release like one kind of like extreme colour as well but it's more of like a redder rosy kind of colour so I think that one is also a pretty nice colour to check that out. So basically the Rouge Allure Velvet Extreme line is something which I think is a very comfortable matte. It has that that marshmallow look, you know, that kind of very blotted type of look, but it's also very, very matte and it also doesn't dry out the lips too much. It just feels, it's like a, a very good best of, like, best of walls, you know, that kind of lips product. So, highly recommend it. And also, the packaging is really, really luxe. Like, because it's the Velvet Extreme formula, this portion here is black, which makes it even, even nicer. So, you can never go wrong with this. Then next is a Charlotte Tilbury lipstick. This is the, uh, I can't really remember the name, but this is in the color Sexy Lip. So it's the balmy textured lipsticks from Charlotte Tilbury. And I have two colors of this one, but I only like this color, which is Sexy Lips. The other one that I have is called Pillow Talk, but that color doesn't make me feel like I, can, I, I, I can't live without it, you know, that kind of thing. It just, it's a very ordinary color balm, doesn't you know, leave an impression, but this one does. You know, when I first got it, uh, it was from the Evan Calendar that Charlotte Tilbury did for the Holidays collection and um, this product was inside so when I first got it I was like oh this one I don't like it because I didn't like the pillow top one that I got so I was like oh my goodness then when I look at the color I was like oh this is the kind of like color that's very grandma-ish but and then when I swatched it I was like not impressed either but I was wrong it was a very very beautiful color it really nourished the lip that's one thing the formula is really really nice because I feel like um, when I was in office for that two weeks, I was adjusting to being in air condition for like, a long period of time. So my lips can get a little bit dry and this one kind of saved my lips from being dry and crackly and all this. But I don't have super dry lips so that's for you to know. Like FYI and I do drink a lot of water as well. So this one itself is enough. And the colour just brightens up my complexion, it makes it look fresh. It just makes me look very like prepared for work, you know, like kind of thing. And I look like I have like, a lot of energy and look good you know so it's just a very simple you know like sometimes in the morning when you wake up you're just rushing for time you don't have time for this you're very sleepy and whatnot this one instantly perks and pick you up it's like a pick me up kind of shade i i can't uh, i can't say good things enough and then every time i'm rushing or anything like that i just want something to i want to throw on something and make sure that i look good this is the one that i look for and i continuously use every single day for the two weeks i was in office so yeah that is that i really really like it and then the last one is a Oni Butter Goodie. I've been using this for a really really long time. I probably should throw this out. Yep, it's yeah, it's expired. But um yeah, I'm probably gonna repurchase this. Um yeah, but I really love this one. So this is the Holika Holika Tint Bomb. So this is the edition, like the Peko Peko one. Um so this is the colour that I have. 
right it's in the color i can't really remember but i remember it was something fake it's number three so this type of tint is the very traditional old tint that stains your lips instantly but this one the formula is very very light and it's not in that liquid formula it's in a stick form and it has that cooling sensation when you apply it which i feel is very very refreshing and this lipstick i only use it when i'm traveling because i don't have time to check myself in the mirror and i'm running around all the time taking photos shopping sightseeing and when you're traveling, you have to take a look at photos, right? And that was when I really, really felt like this one really sells the deal for me. You apply it, you don't have to worry about it fading and whatnot. And usually when you go, like for me, when I go overseas or when I travel, my lips are drier than they usually are. So I usually have to put like lip balms or lip glosses. And yeah, so this one, it just locks everything, all the colors in. And then you put on your lip balm. You have color, you have the moisturization that you need. You wouldn't have flaky, paley skin. So it's just really, really good. I really like it. And I think this color is more of like a wearable one um, as compared to like bright fuchsia pink or bright red. So yeah, this is something that I actually do like. It's quite fluorescent here, but on the lids, it's not as much. Yeah, it's quite fluorescent actually. Maybe I should put it here. Yeah, it looks more like this kind of color. So it's really, really nice and it's very very cooling you know when you apply this it has an instant cooling sensation on your lips it feels really really good yeah and although it is like a teen it stains your hand pretty well it applies very very thinly on the lips so even you have like dry patches like you know sometimes you have some dry patches right you can just like I don't know, something about this, it just, it just catches into those places as much as this type of tint will do to you. You get what I mean? So I absolutely love it. I will probably purchase this one. Yeah, years, years ago when it first came out, I got one and I love it. So I threw that out, I purchased this one. Now that this one is like kind of like, you know, got to throw this out, I'm going to purchase another one. I think this one is like something that I use every single time I travel. Like really, really, really. So out of so many lipsticks, I feel like if you want to try something, oh, it's really affordable get this on because after you put this on you stain the lips already you get the pigmentation that you want you got the longevity that you want but because it's a teen right it gets a little bit dry you can put on your favorite lip balm and it just keeps it you know really really luscious really really cute the whole day it's just very nice so it's something that just lasts so long and then your lips are not dry not whatever because you put like a lip balm on top a lip cream a lip gloss it just feels wonderful and yeah, it just lasts for so long, you don't have to worry. And the colour, especially this one, it's just a very beautiful natural colour. You can layer it up to make it a little bit redder. You just dab it to kind of get a little bit of stain of colour. It just looks beautiful and you can achieve so many different looks from it. So I highly recommend this one. Then two honourable mentions. They are not really lipsticks, they are lip balms. But I've been enjoying this too a lot this year. So the first one is actually this one. This is a lip essence balm from Majorica Majorca. Singapore no longer sells them. Uh, yeah, it's only online, but I got this in Japan. So years ago, I used their like honey lip glosses, and I really love the scent. So while I was in Japan, I was like, I wanted a lip balm, so I purchased this one. Okay, so this balm, other than the scent, right, that I enjoy a lot, it's like an experience for me. The balm is very, very light in texture. Um, if you're living in a very cold place, I would not recommend this one because I don't think this would be sufficient. You can opt for the Face Shop Lip Cream. This one is suitable for like. If you want a lip balm that's very light but that's the trick like just nourish the lips a little bit so this one i think is very good for singapore's weather because singapore is kind of hot and humid sometimes but you definitely need a lip balm sometimes especially like when you go to bed you know sometimes you don't want the air conditioner and it feels very hot and sticky and whatnot this is suitable for that kind of occasion and it's kind of like i don't know it feels really really nice and it's not like the kind of milky milky very thick type of lip balm um it's actually quite lightweight and i really really enjoy it and the scent i love so I use a lot of this during the night when I'm at home. And the next one is the Bobbi Brown. This is like Revival Balm. No, it's just uh, Extra Lip Team Balm. So this has the same concept as the Dior Revival Balm. Yeah, that's Dior's one. So, um, but this color that I got, it was in the color Bare Nude. So it's my fault for choosing this color, but it still does give like a very light nudish tint. Um, I should have gotten some other deeper colors, but I did not. But this one, it feels really good. It's not as thick as the Dior one. Um, the other one has more like, I don't know, it feels more thick on the lips, like more cushiony. This one is less of that, 
but it kind of does the same thing as the Dior one. So um, it depends on which one you like. This is less bulky, I feel like, but they do really, really good things. But this year, I'm really, really into this one, especially when I'm working, like I told you guys. Before I got to know about this one, I have been using this underneath or on top, and then kind of topping on top with like a little lipstick or something um, while I was working. And um, yeah, I've been loving this one. And I feel like this one really helps me a lot. You can see how much I use... Um, I've only got this like maybe two months ago or three months ago. Yeah, but I've used up a lot of it. I really like this one. I feel like it really conditioned the lips. It really delivers moisture in. It's not a ton of lip balm that sits on top and prevent water loss. It's more like really nourishing the lips and then giving the lips the moisture that they need. So, yep, these are my products, like lip products for 2019. And I hope you guys enjoy it. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye!